new research shows brain structure is changed after patients undergo constraint-induced movement therapy, a rehabilitation therapy for stroke patients developed by UAB neuroscientist Edward Taub. The idea was that the brain was hardwired and fixed and it couldn't do anything to repair itself and compensate for any injury that may have occurred. And that is a view that goes back to the 1850s. In the online journal of stroke, new imaging shows patients who undergo CI therapy have increase in the gray matter of the brain, the area where cell matter is typically located. We took structural MRI scans of, of the participants, which is basically putting them into a giant magnet and it gives a picture of their brain. This picture is similar to a photograph, only it's three-dimensional. And then we looked, we took a photo of their brain before and then again after they received the therapy and we looked to see if there were any changes. The group of patients that receive CI therapy shows changes in the gray matter of the brain. CI therapy works by constraining the good limb, forcing patients to use their stroke-affected arm or leg. Taub and other researchers worldwide have seen remarkable results in patients' ability to use an affected arm or leg. CI therapy harnesses brain plasticity to produce treatments in human beings for conditions that previously had no treatment. What we showed was that we get a very large increase in motor ability. That change in motor ability is accompanied by a very large change in the structure of the brain. CI therapy also shows promising results for patients who suffer from traumatic brain injury, cerebral palsy, and multiple sclerosis. CI therapy is uh, a relatively simple set of procedures, some of which are new to rehabilitation. It consists of intensive training of the arm more affected by damage to the brain, for example, stroke, is then this vicious spiral downwards into what we call learned non-use. The way to overcome that is by a appropriate rehabilitation technique, the only one that exists today, though I'm sure there will be others in the future, is CI therapy. So our first publication was in 1998, where we found the CI therapy recruited new areas of the brain into innovation of the movement of the more affected arm, and it enlarged the area that was already involved. Both I and every other scientist who described our research spoke of it as a remodeling of the brain or a rewiring of the brain. And as you can see, where you see the color, those are areas of the brain that showed changes. So these are the areas that control typically that arm. And we also showed changes on the healthier side of the brain, which is typically the side of the brain that controls the other arm, the arm that's not impaired. So this suggests that there may be some reorganization to the healthier side of the brain. Patients that are using their arm better at home and more frequently at home are the patients that show the biggest changes in their brain.